Dalmatians are one of the most easily recognizable dogs around. With starring roles in fire stations as well as Disney movies, the lovable and quirky Dalmatian has earned a spot in our hearts. Hi there, and welcome to Biscuit and Friends. In this video, we will explore some interesting facts about Dalmatians. Be sure to subscribe to Biscuit and Friends for more videos like this, and don't forget to say hello in the comments. Let's get started. Number one, Dalmatians originated in Croatia. The origin of the Dalmatian can be traced back to Dalmatia, a Croatian region along the Adriatic Sea. The breed's history goes as far back as the 1600s, but the dog didn't become popular until the late 19th century when wealthy Brits began adopting the breed. Originally, Dalmatians were bred as hunting dogs, but also served as guard dogs along the borders of Dalmatia. Due to their speed, endurance, and the unique calming effect that they have on horses, British stablemen began adopting Dalmatians as carriage dogs. They could guide horses along the trail of the carriage and guard against thieves and looters. Number two, a Dalmatian's spots can be colors other than black. Dalmatians are easily noticeable thanks to their white coat marked by spots. But did you know the spots can be black or brown? Dogs that have black colored spots always have black noses, and if the spots are brown colored, then the dogs will have brown noses. The American Kennel Club only recognizes those two color combos, but Dalmatians also come in other color varieties, including white and lemon and white and orange, as well as these tricolor variations, white, black, and tan, and white, brown, and tan. Tricolor Dalmatians may have tan marks on their head, legs, neck, and tail. Number three, Dalmatians can be spotted or patched. Most people assume that all Dalmatians are spotted. However, Dalmatians can be spotted or patched. A spotted Dalmatian has black or brown spots spread out over the coat and minimally on the head, legs, and tail. The American Kennel Club requires that the spots be well-defined and rounded. On the other hand, a patched Dalmatian has large masses of black or brown hair, not to be confused with connected spots. The patches might be referred to as an eye patch or monocle patch, uh, ear patch, tail patch, or torso patch, depending on where they are located. Patched Dalmatians are considered a flaw, and breeders do not choose to breed patched Dalmatians, but they do occur in one out of 10 puppies. Number four, long-coated Dalmatians exist. By standard, Dalmatians have a short coat that is dense, smooth, sleek, and glossy. However, there are rare long-coated Dalmatians which have soft, silky coats. According to the American Kennel Club, long-coated Dalmatians have typically been euthanized as puppies since their long fur was considered an anomaly within the breed. In 2015, Long-coated Dalmatians were finally made public and sympathetic breeders began breeding them. Number five, newborn Dalmatians are all white. Dalmatian puppies are born with all white coats. Although you can sometimes see black spots on the skin beneath the fur, the spots begin to show up when the puppy is around 10 days old, but continue to develop until they are 18 months. Number six, Dalmatians aren't unintelligent, they just might be deaf. Turns out, around 8% of Dalmatians in the U.S. are deaf in both ears due to a genetic condition. Early on, breeders didn't realize so many of the dogs were deaf. They thought they just weren't very intelligent. Nowadays, Dalmatians are tested for hearing. Dogs that are deaf in one or both ears are not suitable for breeding, but with proper training and a patient owner can make great family pets. Number seven, Dalmatians became firehouse dogs because of their way with horses. Dalmatians seem to have an innate affinity for horses. They've been used as carriage dogs for many years, running in front of the carriage to help clear a path and guide the horses. In the days of horse-drawn fire engines, Dalmatians were the most popular choice for leading the horses to the fire quickly, and then guarding and calming the horses while the firemen worked. They would also guard the firehouses and the expensive equipment inside. 
Once steam and diesel powered engines replaced the horse drawn variety, the dogs were no longer needed in this role. However, their popularity and affiliation with firehouses persisted and many Dalmatians still serve as fire station mascots or pets. Number eight, a Dalmatian was the most photographed dog of the Civil War. A famous Civil War general, Rufus Ingalls, was reported to have returned to Virginia from a trip to Washington, D.C. with a loyal companion at his side, an English spotted coach dog, as they were called then. At the time, the dogs were extremely rare in the U.S. and quite a novelty. They were strong, smart, and fast, with good endurance, and could guide a horse team beautifully but they were also physically striking and quite an unusual sight to see. The dog was popular with soldiers and civilians and clearly also a beloved family pet. Number nine, the Disney movie 101 Dalmatians resulted in thousands of Dalmatians being euthanized. The 1961 animated movie is the story of two dogs, Pongo and Perdita, who are on a mission to save Dalmatians from the evil Cruella de Vil, who wants to capture them and turn them into fur coats. Ironically, the popularity of the movie resulted in disaster for many real-life Dalmatians. It was called the 101 Dalmatian Syndrome. After the movie was re-released in the mid-80s and early 90s, thousands of families ran out to purchase a Dalmatian as a pet. In fact, AKC registrations of the breed increased in just one year from 8,170 dogs to a shocking 42,816. But many of these dog owners were inexperienced and underprepared, which led to droves of untrained, unsocialized, and sadly, unadoptable dogs being left at shelters across the country. Many of these dogs were euthanized. Some other animals that have been affected by powerful 101 Dalmatian syndromes include clownfish after the movie Finding Nemo was released in 2003. It is said that the population of clownfish in unprotected waters decreased 25 fold after the movie premiered as the fish were captured and shipped to pet stores. But clownfish don't make good pets especially for novices. They need frequent feedings, huge tanks, and carefully monitored water temperatures and salinity levels. Most of the clownfish that were purchased during this fad likely died soon after. German Shepherds after Wren 1010 became popular in the 1920s. The smart, handsome Wren 1010 stole the hearts of Americans in more than 20 films during the 20s and 30s. The sharp increase in popularity and demand for German Shepherds as pets during this time led to the emergence of puppy mills, irresponsible breeders that produced as many puppies as possible without regard to the health and well-being of the dogs. This likely increased the prevalence of genetic defects that affect the breed to this day, including hip dysplasia, retinal atrophy, and epilepsy. Guinea pigs after the Disney movie G-Force premiered in 2009. In G-Force, a squad of specially trained guinea pigs set out to save the world, but it's the real-life guinea pigs that needed saving after ill-informed parents rushed out to buy their children a pet guinea pig. In the real world, guinea pigs are not good pets for kids. They require large cages that must be kept clean despite constant pooping. Many guinea pigs were surrendered to shelters, and it's likely that many more perished in unprepared homes. Number 10. Dalmatians can be wonderful family pets. Dalmatians are affectionate and friendly dogs. They are highly intelligent, easy to train, playful, and active. As long as they've been well socialized, Dalmatians are friendly to strangers as well as other pets around the house. They are low maintenance when it comes to grooming, but they do shed a lot. Dalmatians make good watchdogs due to their alertness and speed. Dalmatians love attention and are eager to please and excel at canine sports and performing tricks. Dalmatians are energetic and fun to have around. If you train them well, with positive methods, they will make the perfect companion for you. That completes our list of 10 interesting facts about Dalmatians. Did you learn something new about these delightful dotted doggos? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to click subscribe so you never miss a video. See you next time.